Well, a major dip in crime positions Macon Bibb County for a major award. 41 NBC's Dejon Gamble spoke with the mayor, Lester Miller, and Bibb County Sheriff, Mr. Davis, on how the community came together to make this happen. Mayor Miller, Sheriff Davis, and members of the Macon Violence Prevention Program all gathered at City Hall to make a major announcement. Homicides are down something Mayor Miller says could not have been done without the collaboration of the community. This isn't about what one group can do or has done. It's not about what one person says is needed. It's about all of us working together. A message celebrating togetherness comes from Mayor Lester Miller as he announces a 43% decrease in homicides and a 67% decrease in youth homicides from 2022 to 2023. The togetherness piece? the Macon Violence Prevention Program, which launched in 2021. Everybody in the community came together and gave their input on what they thought would help in violent crime. And a lot of the ideas came from community members, organizations that had already been working, doing this work. Jeremy Grissom, the Macon Violence Prevention Coordinator, says one of the groups that kept coming up was youth. So they kind of began working on identifying programs to engage the youth in an effort to decrease crime. Nearly $2 million went to nonprofits that had programs to engage youth. With the 67% drop, Grissom says the program is working. It's the community. It, this is a, Macon is a special place. Everybody was focused on the task at hand. Nobody cares who gets the credit. And, it, and you can do amazing things when you're not focused on that. So everybody, it's an all hands on deck type effort. Sheriff Davis says he's also noticed the program making a difference. He hopes one day to never get a call about youth violence. We want the MVP program to be such that law enforcement never gets the call. So in, it seems like in 30 fewer cases in 2023, law enforcement didn't get that call. So it, 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 had a, it had an effect. An effect that took county leaders to Atlanta on Sunday as they were awarded Georgia Municipal Association's Visionary City Award for the implementation and success of the program. I did ask the coordinator of the program what the big goal is for this year. He says it really is going to be about engaging the community and getting people to sign up for the program. He says it's free and it helps you become a part of the solution to decreasing crime. Reporting in Macon, Dejon Campbell, 41 NBC News. Now, if you want to get involved with the Macon Violence Prevention Program, head to our website at 41NBC.com.